Paul. Did you get hey. that new uh, article Matt sent us over about autofocus from the knowledge base? Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Oh. Why don't we make a video on it? All right, I'm down. So there's two steps or methods for autofocus recalibration. One is you can use Visca over IP, and two is you can use a hardwired Visca over IP. So step one would be printing out your calibration sheet. Are we going to use the Visca over IP for this example? Yes. We'll All use right. The Visca over IP. Okay. So we're just printing out the sheet really quick. Mumbo jumbo numbers and letters. Not sure what that means. Not really important. Just used <laughs> for focusing. Uh, step two would be to find a level location where you can tape the calibration sheet to the wall and place the camera lens one meter or 39.4 inches from and the done. sheet. All right. Going ahead yep. and finding a flat surface here. We just kind of eyed it out in terms of level. Yeah, level and, and center, and then Tess measured it out, so that's that one It's pretty long, it takes length. a little bit. And then we just step, used a little Lego man to mark that space. Yeah, you gotta find a really reliable marker there, so uh, we just went with the miniature Paul. <laughs> one meter, and then we just placed the camera lens pretty much centered to that, and then you plug the camera into the network and or power and turn it on. In this case, we did power over ethernet, so that's all we needed. One Dance. Cable. <laughs> and there she goes. Next, you can use VLC or any monitor connected via HDMI or SDI output of your camera and then zoom fully into the calibration sheet. It's very important that you zoom as far as you can. And there she focuses in. Should be ready to go there. Now there's a program called Packet Sender that you'll see in the Knowledge Base article that is used to send hex commands. And uh, these are just some of the, the information. You'll find this in the Knowledge Base uh, data sheet, but the hex commands are, are there. You type in the IP address. You'll probably just want to pause this part and uh, if you want to copy those. Yeah, commands and th that's down. the Packet Sender there on Windows. We just send that command, and as soon as it's sent, you will see that the camera will take steps for each zoom level and calibrate the focus accordingly. That's the main portion of it. Yeah, really, and this is what it looks like. Uh, it takes, I measured t two minutes and 30 seconds. But yeah, it we'll might be vary safe by bit. saying between three to five minutes, but it shouldn't take longer than five. Yeah, and um, that's what it looks like. When it, when it starts doing that, you know that your, calibrate, your focus calibration is, is, is in the process, and it really makes a big difference. So it takes no more than three minutes is what I've found. And check out how crisp it is once it's done. Success. Look at that, so good. Yay. So it stays in focus all the way through the zooming. Very, very smooth. Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Yeah, we hope that you find it helpful. And uh, yeah, we're just solving problems over here every day. You can learn more about this knowledge base article, which is from our support team at help.ptzoptics.com and just search for autofocus. Yeah, feel free to give us a call at our number listed on that website or submit a ticket if you need any further help with this issue. Yeah, our support team is obviously there to help. You have a three-year warranty with your PTZ Optics camera. And we want to make sure maybe do this every once in a while just to keep your camera calibrated right. for your autofocus. Don't forget to join our user group at facebook.com slash groups slash PTZ Optics Pals. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all that great stuff if you like this and want to see more stuff like this. We'll see you guys later. Don't forget to tune into our show Fridays at 2 p.m. Eastern. That's 11 a.m. Pacific. See ya!